What's going on guys? I am still out here at Terrytown RV Supercenter in Grand Rapids, Michigan in their indoor facility, which is super awesome, taking a look at this huge, huge Salem travel trailer. Guys, you're not going to want to miss this one. Be right back. So we got to take a look at the numbers on this unit. This thing is simply massive. So this is going to be almost 38 feet long, 11,288 pound gross vehicle weight rating with a 2,041 pound cargo capacity, rides on 15 inch E-rated tires. This is just a massive, massive travel trailer. Three slides. This is wood framed aluminum sided construction, rides on a 12 inch I-beam as well, which is really nice. Of course, you're going to get double propane tanks as well as space up here for two batteries. Has a power tongue jack, has a scissor jack stabilization all the way around. This one uses the LCI solid step. Black steel wheels, outside speakers. These Salem's are very, very popular. This is a travel trailer brand that a lot of people get because it's very affordable, while at the same time, they really don't skimp on amenities. Plus, they give this huge outside kitchen area with a really thick door. Sink, as well as your outside refrigerator. And I'm guessing it has a barbecue grill that flips around. It does have incandescent lighting back here, as well as up on top. Plus, it's wired for a Furion backup camera coming around. All three slides are rack and pinion slides, so that's very nice, and they're all full extension slides. So a lot of slides on travel trailers only extend out about that far or even this far. This one extends out the full three feet. Plus, again, that solid 12 inch I-beam frame running the entire length. And they have nice stabilizer arms on the stabilizer jacks. Those come in really handy because those keep it from having that rocking feel when you're walking around on the inside. Here's your sewer drain, and this is a 50 amp connection. Coming around. Now the front here, this is not a pass-through storage, but it is still a very sizable storage. Lots of room in here. You could easily store probably even a folding bike chairs, table, you can store a lot of stuff in there. That is a good size front storage area. Let's take a look inside of this Salem 33TS. Again, roughly 38 feet long. One of the really nice things, again, about the Salem line is you get a lot of really nice amenities and a ton of space at an affordable price. Now, I don't know the price of this specific unit. You'd have to go on their website to look at it. But I can imagine it's probably going to be maybe in the mid to high 20s, maybe low 30s. Nice freezer refrigerator, nice upgraded stove, Furion microwave, lots of cabinetry. Has a very nice light feeling interior as well with dark wood tones. Coming back to the bunkhouse area. Nice flip up top bunk. See, this is a bunkhouse that a lot of families love because it gives you a tremendous amount of room for you to bring your kids and even their friends. You have a top bunk here. You have a sofa here, which converts into a bunk, as well as another bunk above it, plus all of your cabinetry here to store things. Up here is going to be where you would mount your TV. So on some of these bunkhouses, they put the TV mount here, but they opted to use that space on this trailer for storage. And you mount your TV up here on a swivel arm with your cable connection and power up there. Nice, huge backside window. And this is also an emergency escape. But this is a huge bunkhouse. So here's the front area, of course. Dinette area, which also turns into a bed. As well as a nice sofa, which also turns into a bed. Plus, you can mount your TV up here, fireplace, cabinetry on each side. This isn't real stone. This is a wallpaper material. It does make it look nice, though. Nice air conditioning system up here that is fully ducted, plus more storage underneath the dinette area. Overall, you could easily sleep two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could probably sleep upwards of nine people inside of this travel trailer. Definitely a trailer you could bring the family and all your friends with. Take a look at the bedroom area. 
So going into the front bedroom, or the master bedroom in this case, since there is a second bunk area bedroom, you have a really nice queen size bed, lots of room on each side of it, huge full length slide, which gives you a tremendous amount of room here at the end, plus massive closet area. This is just a huge closet area here. And the reason why this specific coach doesn't have a pass through storage up front is because this is the storage area beneath this closet. What it gives you, though, is an area for a washer and dryer. So it's already plumbed for a washer and dryer, and that takes up the area that might normally be your pass-through storage. You typically are never going to find an area for a washer and dryer in a travel trailer, regardless of the size. So the fact that this one's already wired and plumbed for a washer and dryer assembly makes this a very unique travel trailer. Plus it has these barn-style doors here. Very nice. You're going to have more storage underneath the bed as well, so the bed will flip up to give you storage there. You have some nice compact end tables on the side of the bed or nightstands, and what's nice about them is they don't protrude out over the bed very much. So I've never really liked how some of them come really far out over the bed. It just seems like something that you're going to hit your head on. This one only has a single AC unit in it, though it does have a spot up here, and I'm sure you can opt for a second AC unit in this specific travel trailer. Very nice, simple layout for the control panel as well. Nice dual basin sink. This is a very cool travel trailer. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the sofa and the dinette next to each other, only because you're kind of cocking your head to the side to see the TV. But that being said, this is a very, very popular floor plan, and people that get it generally really like this floor plan especially the fact that this huge slide gives you all of this space right here. So if you have kids, if you have toddlers and they like to play on the floor, especially if it's a rainy day and everyone's inside, you're not going to feel crowded. And this affords you a tremendous amount of room to bring people for sleeping space, as well as a nice comfortable large dinette area if you're going to be eating dinner or eating lunch or, you know, feeding the kids. And again, on the outside of this coach, you are going to get this really nice long awning. It doesn't cover the full length because I don't think they make a 38-foot awning. But it's going to cover a good area of this side of the trailer. Plus, you're going to have that nice flip-up outside kitchen area, which will also provide you some protection if it's raining or, you know, if it's just bad weather and you're out here trying to cook. Overall, though, this is a really cool floor plan, and a lot of people love these bunkhouses because, again, they allow you to bring so many people with you. Now, in my opinion, this trailer is only three-quarter ton, one ton towable. So I would definitely not ever recommend towing this behind a half-ton truck. And in many ways, I would even suggest towing this behind a dually just because of the length and the weight and the height. A dually is going to provide you with more stability when towing something this large. That doesn't mean you need a dually to tow it, but it's just my suggestion. If you have one, it's going to make it a little bit easier. That being said, this is well within the weight of most three-quarter ton, one ton, and one ton dually pickup trucks. You shouldn't have have any problem towing it with any of those trucks as long as it's properly equipped and spec to tow something this heavy and this long. Anyways guys, I will put a link in the description to Terrytown RV if you are interested in looking at this specific unit. I do not know the price off the top of my head, but I can imagine they're going to give you a pretty aggressive price if you're interested because they are typically in that 30 to 33% off of MSRP, plus they own their own delivery company so they can get it to you just about anywhere. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.